It has your typical kind of, uh, you know, kind of, you know, dry cracking or aging in the in the uh, the leather. There's a little bit of uh, entry wear here, um, but if you to me it kind of fits the era of the truck you know you probably can condition it get it soften up a little bit but you can get new tops and bottoms they're super cheap i think it's like about on ebay i think you can get the bottoms for about uh, anywhere between 70 bucks and 100. Um, it's gonna take a little effort to put them on or you could hire somebody and then you can get the backs you can you know armrests are all in nice shape um but uh you can get those too dash has no cracks um big holes it has this little area right down here um it's a little bit you know cracked right there but it's not going to separate anything like that um, really clear gauges it's got 169,276 on it really nice maintenance history on Carfax um, just had the brakes done the front end done training service all the fluids changed um, and I'll kind of go over that on the driving video this is uh and so hopefully you guys can stick around for that steering wheel is in nice condition just a little bit of wear right here but no chunks missing it's not loose Center console is really nice condition. You know, it's a little bit, um, just a little bit worn here on the uh, the plastics. It's a little bit discolored from use. You got a little bit, a little bit of a punch mark here. Uh, what? I'm not sure if they replaced the uh, the um, seat belts because they seem to be retracting fine. But it looks like they've had them hung up here quite a few times, and you know, chipped it right here and chipped it right here. And the seat belt, I mean it. You know, it does have some marks on it and stuff like that. And the seatbelt is like a, it's a little bit darker. So I don't know if it came out of a darker truck, but uh, yeah, you can find those um, new or you can find them used on eBay, Amazon, all kinds of places. Um, but really nice door jams, nice rust free through here. Besides all those marks here, you know, it has very little entry wear. You know, all the power um, seat buttons work. Tilt steering is really nice and smooth. Headliner doesn't have any sag or anything, and uh, it takes a little bit of time to get that front seat to move forward. But uh, the rear seat is just a mint condition. I mean, it's uh, this truck really. If you wanted to replace the carpet kits, you can get 300 bucks for the carpet front to back, and if you want to do the leathers, then you'd be pretty much have a mint condition in interior. Um, you know, you can see the the carpets are a little bit discolored in some of the areas. But it's got a nice set of front, you know, floor mats, front and rear. We'll pop it down and, you know, you really can't see much when you got those. Um, that bothers some people and it doesn't bother some people. But, uh, you know, the only really, that's probably the only light now. But it's a light gray interior, uh, 25 years old. You can't really blame it too much. What's cool about this truck, it has its original books, manuals, it has original sales brochure, still its keyless entry key fob. But one thing that's always missing on these things is those two headrests if you fold the seat up it goes all the way up here and it's completely flat if you want to go camping or store stuff but you always have to pull the headrest out otherwise you'll damage them and from the factory they come with a little leather uh, bag case that I'll show you when we do the back uh, so it's really cool to see that still with the uh, um, still with the truck you know stuff like that often you know just gets tossed for some reason so same kind of thing, a little drier, not, not as much entry wear here, but a little bit of cracking. You know, you can see a little bit of discoloring on the center console. The armrests work nice, headrests, all that stuff's in good condition. You know, you know, side panels are in nice shape, just a, you know, maybe a couple little scuffs here and there. You'll see a little mark right there, kind of on the cup holder. It's your typical used stuff. Um, these things are still, you know, pretty good shape. You, know, you get some little worn marks on the on the seats. Again, you know you got a little discoloring. You, you know your cup holders. I mean they're gonna spill stuff. So that's really only let down. Door panels really nice condition. Just a little kind of like a little ripple here. Not really any damage or anything. You know just your typical little wear stuff. But these are the cup holders, and it's like uh, you have some cup holders in here too. But these, I mean borderline worthless I'm not sure what they were thinking in the 90s I mean these are just waiting for a mess to happen and they really don't look like they've ever been used your cigarette lighters never been used ashtrays never been used I got a picture of all that stuff in there so we're gonna go ahead and go around the outside we're gonna start off on the uh, passer side and work ourselves around so it came with this uh, you'll see some of the Silverados the GMC's the Taos the Suburban um, they'll have the pinstriping and that's was kind of like an option from the factory it is hand painted pinstriping and it is worn in some places and if it's not your thing a little bit of lacquer thinner 
and a little bit of time just being careful will take this off and then you can re-wax it and you won't have that. Um, if you're familiar with this ARF truck, this is just kind of common. They kind of get this little rippling on the uh, chrome, which is a little delaminating. And so this has it. Um, a new grill is really, really cheap. Well, light lenses are nice and clear. No condensation. You know, the bow ties not, doesn't have any cracks. I mean, just really nice orange. You got a little bit of chipping on the paint here, but all this is nice and tight. It's never been damaged. You know, if somebody hits this bumper very lightly, it'll break this plastic. You can see the balance is nice. It's just got some little scuffs and stuff like that. A little crack in the license plate holder. Kind of your typical stuff. Little marks here. Looks like maybe they bumped something really lightly. You know, you have a couple little scratches here. So I'll go ahead and continue. No chips or cracks in the window. Window's in nice condition. You know, your little little scratch like there. Chip. This stuff's kind of typical. You know, you have a little bit of stuff in the bottom. I'll go nice and slow, so hopefully the camera. But not really a whole lot. You know, the mud flaps have probably really helped to protect it. Looks like maybe it had some different mud flaps on at one point that have kind of worn a little bit. You know, a little bit of scuffs and stuff in the mirror. But the mirrors are still nice and shiny. The outside rubbers are nice. The passenger door handle still nice and tight. You know, just a little bit of entry wear from coming and getting in. And this stuff is pretty pretty much impossible to avoid, you know, if you're gonna use and enjoy a vehicle for a couple decades. You know, no rust, no, not a bunch of stone chips here. A little bit of a couple little weird area for chips here. Maybe they had something anchored down that came down and banged up that a little bit, but no dents or anything, or no dings. Rear tail lights in nice condition. You know, again, not a, not a whole lot of stone chips down here. Rear bumper's got nice chrome reflection, but it is, you know, a little bit chipped here, and then it started to surface rust. Um, these things are in incredible condition. A lot of times these guys just flake out. The bumper pad's nice. There's a couple little scuffs here and there. But it's cool to see this has never been popped through, no ball hitch. A couple little entry scratches and stuff like that. On the top side, so this is kind of the part of the package. I don't think this is a trail wagon. Um, but Trail Wagon and like a couple other companies um, would do the hand painting, pinstriping, but you'd usually end up with a lot of like faux wood everywhere. But but you'll get this, which is really cool. I love the way this looks painted to match. Um, you can't see it from down here, but the top is a little bit faded and it's got a little bit chipped, but there's pictures of all that stuff. Inside the door, gas door, just really nice and crisp. Got the factory aluminum wheels, some 265 all-terrain tires with lots of tread left. The underside of this thing is really clean. Um, the underside of the belly, again, you got those chips I was talking about. This door handle, obviously the driver's side, you're gonna get a little bit more wear. So it's a little bit more loose, but uh, but still it comes out about that far and then you're gonna start to engage the latch. Nice rubbers. Oddly enough, just a little scratch on this one. And then, uh, and the right lighting, I mean, this has got, this fender's got all the same wear and tear. You know, you got the same little wear mark. It looks like it's been the same amount of time I had that other mother flap. Um, a little bit of scratch here. But the pinstriping matches too. So, I mean, it matches just perfectly. But in the right lighting, this fender does look slightly darker. My wife thinks I'm crazy, but uh, slightly darker, or not darker, but a little bit more fresher. Um, it's really hard to tell. You go like this and, I mean, you know, you probably think I'm a crazy person, but, um, so I don't know if the, the, uh, let me pop the hood. Don't know if the fender has maybe been repainted because it's, it's really tough to say because, you know, all this has the same equal wear and tear. I mean, you just, it all matches up. The bumper, the grill obviously hasn't been replaced. Um, you know, the Fender's never been adjusted, so it might just be my imagination. There isn't the tape line here. It's just nice, clean, flowing paint. So, um, but yeah, you look at all this stuff is just nice and tight. You look at the hood, never been messed with. So, might be my imagination, but uh, maybe you guys can let me know what you think. But otherwise, I mean, anyway, it's beautiful condition. Underneath the hood's really nice and clean. Just had the AC charged up, a full tune-up. Um, had this little guy replaced. You know, those guys always age and nobody replaces them and it kind of makes it look a lot better and, and plus it's supposed to be nice and fresh. Um, you know, air filter, oil change, all that stuff is good. Good battery. 
under hood light works. Still got this little guy you pull out. Do you know if you need to, if you break down and you want to um, look underneath the hood. But let's see here. I'll got the key. You know, so we still got the one key. Never been messed with. So we'll go ahead and fire this guy up. So we're gonna go ahead and let it run for a little bit. I'm gonna hang out here and answer some emails and some phone calls and let it get full, full temp. Um, and then we'll go ahead and hit the road. We can see it running nice and smooth. No shaking, no twisting. It has kind of your GM common little, uh, you know, they just have noisy power steering comps. So I had a step side Silverado about a year and a half ago and I put a new power steering pump on it and then put another one on there. And uh, <laughs> and then, you know, the third one is on there is it's made the same noise and pretty much every truck that I've had has a little bit of that, you know, kind of that GM power steering whine. So, going at no reserve, uh, all original one owner. Uh, it's a hard to find two door, so good luck.